Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to create an app like this. So when I run this project, uh, so I'll write a number, right? Let's say I write two to predict what number I wrote. So first, what we'll do is that we have to um, install the models that we're going to need, the modules that we need for this project. So first, we're going to do pip install tensor flow so um usually you'll get an error if you don't get an error that's fine you can skip ahead but if you have an error follow along so you're going to type python double hyphen version and if it's greater than 3.10 um you have to install Python 3.10. So I'll put this link in the description. But you're going to go to the Python website. Then you're going to install the um, the the tenth version. So we'll install that. So after you finish installing it, uh, you'll close this out. And then you're going to go back to your uh, this is your editor, and you're going to type pip install virtual en env. So after you install that, you're going to write python dash m v e n v t f underscore e n v and i get an error but this error you, you you won't get so let me just fix it very quickly okay so now after that you're going to write t f underscore e n v slash scripts slash activate so you'll usually get an error here and then we're going to go to um you're going to use the keyboard shortcut windows x now you're going to hit um the administrator terminal and now we're going to type here set execution policy unrestricted dash scope current user okay so now after you do that you're going to try pip install tensor flow one more time if you get an error one more time we're going to um, i'll put this link in the description also but you have to install microsoft visual c plus plus redistributable so we're going to get um we're going to scroll down to the install thing then we're going to get x64 Then I'm going to repair it because I've already installed it. So after you finish it, you're going to type, you're going to go back to this one, then you're going to type pip install dash dash upgrade pip. After that, try pip install tense, tensor flow one more time, and it should work. If you have an NVIDIA um, CPU, you're going to type pip install tensor flow. But after this, you're going to do in square brackets, make sure it's right next to it, and CUDA. 
so since i don't have an nvidia chip i won't do that but if you have an nvidia cpu you should do that otherwise it will not work so now you're going to write the code so in that same environment you're going to in that same file that you've created that you ran you're going to write from tensorflow.keras.datasets import mnist this is going to be our data set that we're going to see the digits from from tensorflow.keras.models import sequential from tensorflow.keras.layers import dense and flatten now we're going to do x train and y train is equal to x and, and x test and y test is equal to mnist.load data so x train x test is equal to x train divided by 255 and x test divided by 255 make sure you put point 0 after 255 or it will not work so after that we will use we will load our model which is sequential so and we're going to put it in square brackets the class in square brackets then we're going to put a list inside flatten is equal to input shape 2828 this will scale our canvas which we write our number on to 28 pixels by 28 pixels so it will work better dense 128 activation equals relu dense 10 activation equals softmax now model.compile optimizer equals adam last equals sparse categorical cross entropy make sure there's a underscore between uh, all of those three words metrics equals accuracy make sure it's in a in a list it's only one item but it should still be in a list model.fit x train y train epoch 5 which means it'll have it'll train it five times and validation data is x test and y test make sure um make sure validation data is in a tuple and now we're going to write model.safe mn mnist model.h5 so now run this one So after the epochs are finished, we're going to write a new code. So scrap all of this code, delete it, and then you're going to write this new code. Import numpy as np, import tkinter as tk from pill, import image and image draw, and import tensorflow as tf. Make sure you have numpy, tkinter, and pill in pill install. Um, if usually you won't have pill installed. So if you want to install that, you have to pip install pillow. So after you do that, we're going to write model equals tf.keras.models.load model mnist model.h5. This is the model we created using the previous code. Window equals tk.tk window.title is draw digit so this will help our user know you have to draw a digit in there canvas.width canvas.height is 280 280 which is actually exactly 10 times that we have that is actually in the actual data set canvas equals tk.canvas window width equals canvas width height equals canvas height the background is black since um we use the background is black since the data set in the data set the digits numbers they're all black for the background so it will it will make it easier now canvas.pack that will um that will add it to the window now image is equal to image.new l then we're going to write in a tuple canvas underscore width and canvas underscore height and then outside of the tuple we're going to create a comma and then we're going to put zero I'm going to write draw equals image draw dot draw image. Now paint is and then we're going to have a function called paint. And then we're going to have one inside of that is going to be event. Then you're going to put a colon. We're going to do x and y is equal to event dot x event dot y. Radius is equal to 10. Canvas dot create oval x radius y radius x plus radius x x y x y plus radius fill white the outline is going to be white draw ellipse x minus radius y minus radius x plus radius y plus radius make sure 
this one is in square brackets. The previous one was not in square brackets, but this has to be in square brackets. And then we we'll do fill white. Clear canvas equals canvas dot delete all. Draw a rectangle and in a tuple zero zero canvas with canvas height outside of the tuple comma fill black. Now this is the function where it's going to predict the digit. So img is equal to image dot resize. 2828 28, so it will scale it down by um to these ones because that's how it is in the data set now image is equal to numpy dot array image divide by 255.0 make sure you have a point zero at the end image is equal to image dot reshape one comma 28 comma 28 comma one prediction equals model dot predict image then digit digit is equal to n numpy dot arch max prediction now result label result underscore label dot config the text of that is going to be an f string prediction then you're going to put curly braces in the digit now we're going to do canvas dot bind and in um in greater and less than symbols we're going to put b1 hyphen motion make sure b and motion are cap b and m are capital <laughs> then after that we're going to do paint button frame is equal to tk dot frame window button frame dot pack now we're going to create two buttons tk dot button button frame text equals clear command equals clear canvas dot pack side equals tk dot left tk dot button button frame text equals predict the command is going to be predict digit which means it will predict the digit dot pack side equals tk dot right the result label this will show us what it predicted tk dot label window then the comma text is going to be draw digit then the font is going to be arial and then the size is going to be 14 make sure both of these are in tuple then we're going to going to pack that using result table dot pack then we're going to put it in the main loop so now if we run this if i draw a number like let's say i draw seven it's not accurate all the time. So sometimes it'll get it wrong. But most of the time, you should get it right. And you see here, it predicted 7. So that's it for today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.